Glenn Chappell grabbed his 900th first-class wicket as his Lancashire side just about kept themselves in touch with their opponents Warwickshire at the halfway stage of their LV County Championship game at the Emirates Old Trafford. Warwickshire shaded the first day and began the second morning on 63 without loss, having dismissed Lancashire for 247. Varon Chopra and Will Porterfield made the most of the better batting conditions in the first hour of the morning session, as the home side huffed and puffed with no success. Porterfield has not had a good time in four-day cricket in the past couple of years, but if you can pull someone as talented as James Anderson for six, then you know that you're seeing the ball OK. Indeed, this shot took the Irish captain to his first Championship 50 for nearly two years. It arrived courtesy of his seventh four to go with that maximum, and it came off 72 balls. It was an innings in partnership with Chopra that was putting Warwickshire well on top in this contest. The opening partnership between these two moved into three figures, and suddenly Lancashire's own first innings total was looking to be well beneath par. Simon Kerrigan was introduced into the attack and almost got the wicket his side so desired, Porterfield being dropped by a combination of keeper and slip. Not that Kerrigan had to wait too long for something to celebrate, Porterfield rather threw it away by driving the spinner to Wayne White at mid-on to go for 77 and to end the opening partnership on 127. White then caused some concern with the ball for new man Laurie Evans, who did well to deflect this short delivery to the boundary rather than to the waiting fielders. Chopper, meanwhile, is one of a whole host of players with England on his mind. Playing in front of the new national coach, the opener would have been delighted to score his first 50 of the campaign. He had at times been overshadowed by Porterfield in the first wicket stand, but Chopper was still there and this shot now took into his half century which had occupied 125 deliveries, that being his fifth boundary. Chopper has made a habit of starting seasons very strongly of late. This, though, was Chappell's very special moment. He became the first Lancashire bowler since Jack Simmons to claim 900 first-class wickets. Chopper was the man to go LBW for 52. Warwickshire were still handily placed on 144 for two, although they nearly gifted Lancashire a third wicket, when Evans did his best to run himself out. It was a little chaotic from Evans at times, and that was shown by the method of his downfall as he picked out Lewis Rees in the deep off the bowling of Tom Smith. Evans went for 17. Lancashire were rightly buoyed by that, and Anderson had a head of steam as he tried to make life difficult for new man Atik Javid. While he struggled at the outset, Ian Bell did anything but... He came into this match on the back of an exceptional 189 not out in the defeat to Sussex last week and he again looked in fine touch. He caressed the ball rather than hit it, a sure sign of a man feeling very good about his game right now. He eased Kerrigan over the long on boundary for a six and Lancashire soon knew that his wicket was going to be vital if they were going to keep in contention with their visitors. Bell had the better of a 50-run stand with Javid, who had by now settled in and was playing smartly as his side closed in on taking a first-innings lead. But before they got there, Chapel had wicket 901 when Javid on 25 cut with power, but only as far as Carrigan, who held on well at point. Bell was winning his own personal battle with Anderson and a run down to third man, one of the batsman's favoured shots, took him to another 50. This one occupying 125 balls, from which four fours and one six have been struck. His wicket was now the very big one for the home side. Another shot of real class from Bell had his side ahead with only four men out, and Warwickshire would have been dreaming of a substantial first innings advantage. But wickets fell at regular intervals thereafter. Tim Ambrose gave Joss Butler his first catch as a Lancashire player, a straightforward one off Tom Smith as Ambrose departed for 23. Butler was soon celebrating again as Chris Wokes was out in a similar fashion in Smith's next over, although the batsman looked a little surprised to see the raised finger of the umpire. Then White knit one back in to bowl Bell for 75 and Warwickshire were letting a good position slip. They were now on 287 for seven. And two runs later, they were eight down as Jitan Patel chased a wide one from White, the edge landing safely into Butler's gloves. 
When Smith soon trapped Chris Wright in front, five wickets had fallen for 47 runs in the space of 10 overs. Smith again at the forefront in what has been a fine start to the summer for him. Keith Barker and Oliver Hannon Dolby survived the remaining deliveries to take their side to 316 for nine by the close. And that means that Warwickshire will start day three with a lead of only 69.